Guns are everywhere in his body. Guns that don't respect nothing. The myth of being untouchable. Like Tony tells Eugene. You took an oath, Gene. There's no retiring from this. If you stick to these rules and follow this code, there are benefits. Like getting to become a made man. And with being a made man comes a special ranking. Wait, not so fast. He's the new boss, and he ain't respecting all the arrangements. Cancer can mean many things on The Sopranos. Sometimes it's literal. Cancer? I'm not going with you. Harry. Oh my God. Sometimes it's symbolic. He's a cancer. I can't let it spread. And sometimes you may not know just what it is. Something fucking horrible is going on inside my body. There's a physical change or something. So let's go through some of the Sopranos characters. First up, Jackie Aprile Sr. But Jackie, to see this strong, beautiful man, and you can't do nothing about it. can't fight it. Tony says, Jackie's so fucking mean he'll scare that cancer away. Except cancer doesn't care how mean you are, or your rank, or the fact that you may be the acting boss right now. Bobby Baccalieri Sr. As the nickname implies, the Terminator was no stranger to blood, but it got more difficult the more his lung cancer and emphysema progressed. <laughs> On the bright side, perhaps the Terminator got to go out like he wanted. The cause of death, was it the cancer or the accident? How advanced was the metastasis anyway? And now would be a good time to transition to our next character. Junior Soprano. I have cancer. Cancer, the big casino. These things come in threes. That classic Sopranos three. There are two things that are very specific to Junior's cancer situation that remind me of the Mafia. And that is the tumor board and Junior's obsession with Kennedy's name. Convenient tumor board. What the hell is that? A meeting of the chief of oncology and oncological pathologist and other specialists who then work together to reach a consensus. Let's get started. Yeah, yeah, right. Then I guess uh, you hear what they have to say. Well, your uncle will not be present. They will pass their decision along to both of you. It's so, John. I assure you, no surgeon would miss it. What you do then is still your decision. You make life and death decisions because of a man's name. Polly Walnuts. I had a biopsy. I might have prostate cancer. I'm afraid maybe the thing metastasized. I'd rather face ten guys with shifts than something I can't see. It's really telling when he says the quote, It's true. I'd rather face ten guys with shivs than something I can't see. And I think that's what they all really fear the most. They can't see it. They can't avoid it. They can't contain it. They can't shoot it dead. Johnny Sack. He's a cancer. I can't let it spread. I recently mentioned in a video about Johnny Sack the irony of this comment, and he's talking about Rusty Emilio. But sure enough, soon after this, Johnny Sack gets diagnosed with cancer. You may have racked up quite a high body count in an effort to secure your place as the next boss, but I guess that's the cost of doing business in this industry. But now you're untouchable, right? Now, what are our options? Limited to the extent that I wouldn't recommend any. At this point, we're looking at stage four small cell carcinoma of the lungs. And there's no stage five. That's correct. See this? It's cancer. What? Yeah. Squamos. Why well, they think they got it all? There may be some malignant cells we didn't get. See, when we operate, we have to decide how much healthy tissue to cut around the tumor. Okay? The margins weren't wide enough.
these lines, margins, that they try to put between one world and another. Done. But as Tony sees here, it's not quite as easy when trying to separate your two families. The scares. They found a lump under my arm. Oh my God. They biopsied it. I get the results in a couple of days. I just came from the doctor's office. Yeah? The biopsy came back negative. Yeah, good. I'll be back later. I am pretty sure I have ovarian cancer. In case you didn't think Edie Falco was already badass enough, did you know that she was actually diagnosed with breast cancer in 2003? She was diagnosed in the morning at the doctor's office, and she was back to work later that day. Tony says that he gave his rotten, putrid, infested soprano gene to AJ. And for Carmela, this cancer, or possibility of cancer, was like a physical manifestation of that of that infection, that overwhelming feeling of having to wake up every morning and face the reality of what it means to be married to Tony Soprano and everything else that comes with it. And sometimes it's too much to bear for her. Maybe I have cancer. Remember how Jackie got? Cancer. It's a physical change or something. It's like just the fucking regularness of life is too fucking hard for me or something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you're depressed. Me? Depression? Mental health issues? <laughs> cancer? Now that's legit. Maybe the poor fuck was suffering from an operable cancer or some shit. He's a cancer. I can't let it spread. And this is another even more extreme example. Eugene dies by suicide. He must have had an inoperable form of cancer or some shit, right? I also wanted to make sure to recognize the actors on The Sopranos who have passed in real life from cancer. Denise Borino Quinn, Joseph Saravo, Robert Lapone, Tom Aldridge, David Margulis, Frank Albanese, Ned Eisenberg, Rick Aiello, and Vinny Vela. Finally, while there is no real way to end a video featuring this subject matter on a high note, I will say this. How do you go fuck yourself?